Hi everyone, welcome to today's Daily Bread and Prophetic Message from the Father. This message is a very important message to the Father's heart. I pray you will answer the call. I pray that you will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. This word is going to bring confirmation to many of you. It took me three days and three hours to write this message out and to receive it from Father God. I know it's for many of you. May this word bless and prosper you. May you be successful and favored by the eyes of the Lord. May Father God, in the name of Jesus, cause the hearts of man to turn and favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Let's get started. Thus said the Lord thy God. Now my children, listen carefully. I, your heavenly Father, have sent forth my command to Pharaoh, telling him to let my people go. As it has already been written in, the, in times of old, Moses my servant, who I myself chose and sent before you, has come and completed his mission, in which I, your Father, had commanded of him. So listen, my beloved sons and daughters. I have set you free from Pharaoh's bondage and, and oppression. Now quickly, go forth and cross the Red Sea. Be sure to stay awake, keeping your focus and eyes on me as I guard and guide each of you in the new journey to your promised land. Prepare, be ready, and move swiftly as I part the Red Sea. So you, my chosen, may be completely set free. But remember this important message. Pharaoh will again try and pursue you once more. So keep a listening ear and take heed to these words that I speak. Pharaoh is enraged with you and wishes to enslave you once more for good. Oh, how angry Pharaoh is to see his precious kingdom is surely falling, falling, falling down. Yes, just like the destruction I will release upon Babylon, whose satanic systems and traditions have become, a, have become a stench and a disgrace before me. Soon, they will all see my vengeance and wrath unleashed for it is written. You just wait and see. Remember this one important notice and warning. Do not look back and do not turn back unless your hope is for Pharaoh to kill and destroy you. Is that your heart's desire? If it is, I will grant it unto you. So you choose this day who you will serve my, choose, my children. Which do you choose? Bondage or freedom? My promises are to bless and restore you, heal and prosper you, correct you when you have been led or gone astray, because I love and truly care for you, each and every one of you, even those of you who turn against me, my love is unconditional and it never dies, for I your Father, I am love in its most purest form. One last word I want my children to hear. <clears throat> know and understand. Once you have reached the promised land that I have spoken of and even shown many of you a time before through messages and visions, through messages, visions, and dreams, only then will you know, see, and taste the goodness I myself will bestow upon you. Then you will also see. Excuse me, then you will also see I, your father, who sits high above all, enthroned in heaven, suffered no man to wrong you or cause you harm. Because I, your father, will even reprove kings for the sake of you, my beloved, chosen, righteous, obedient, those who have hearts 
with at least one ounce of righteousness, a seed of desire for me, truth, and salvation. Listen as I speak. Get ready, get ready. Esther, Deborah, Ruth, Mary, Elizabeth, pick up your crown, prepare. Prepare to speak before nations. Prepare, prepare. It will be a healthy, successful, blessed birth and deliverance for your babies. The promise. Yes, it is true. Walk in righteousness. Learn from Naomi, Ruth, because Boaz will choose you. The least likely will be seen and, and chosen. Go forth, I command. Also, you, Joseph, you have been in prison long enough. Get up, clean yourself up, because I have chosen you. Up next, my number one, battle axe, Jeremiah. Step up and do as I have instructed you. Jehu, rise up, go forth. You shall, de- you shall defeat Jezebel and her prophets of Baal. Ahab will fall and be slain. I have sent and set against him and his prophets a lying spirit yes the lying prophets that he loves to run to so listen step up go forth David shoot your shot for I the Lord your God is standing guard concerning you victory shall come swiftly for my righteous chosen children who have known my name. Though though Goliath is way bigger, taller, and even stronger than you, you yourself shall stand up for yourselves. Don't run in fear or terror. Stand strong and face your oppressor and speak out your mouth, sounding the alarm and say, I decree and I declare in the mighty name of Jesus, Haman shall hang at the gallows he prepared for me. I decree and I declare the bigger you are the harder you shall fall Goliath in the name of Jesus Christ who can stand against the most high God and not bow before his glory what other way is there to the father other than through the name of Jesus Christ or who can go against the most high God in battle and come out a winner You yourself shall decree and declare by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, Goliath will fall and Pharaoh will drown by the nostril blast force force of the Most High God that that prepels the rock from David's slingshot and of the power, fury, and vengeance. of the Most High God. Decree and declare once again, Haman shall hang at the gallows he prepared for you by the power and authority of the name of Jesus Christ. You shall decree and you shall declare victory over yourselves. My children stand strong in the face of adversity because I, your father, have gone before you to remove your enemies and make room for you. Woe unto my adversary, says the Lord, like a thief in the night, without notice. I myself will unleash a deadly blow to the camp of my adversaries. Yes, you shall see and even hear for yourselves. I, your father, have kept my own word concerning you, my beloved. Thus said the Lord thy God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessings, joy, and peace.